Allah is telling them, you know what? They are the close ones. For them, they will be. Hi guys, so welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Thousands of people gathered in Europe to convert to Islam, and it looks like a concert. Let's check it out. <laughs> Allah is promising them paradise because they were the first to turn to Islam. They were the ones who came in right at the beginning. Allah is telling them, you know what? They are the close ones. For them, they will be paradise. They will receive and achieve more than they would ever have imagined. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Uh, so I've been feeling very happy, a lot of peace since I reverted two weeks ago. Uh, I reverted because of what's happening in Gaza and I want to be closer to Islam and Allah. Is that people that are religiously fanatical don't care about dying. And if that's their attitude, they're not going to stop. And I don't believe that. The year 2023 has passed and left a lot of sorrow among the Muslims, especially those in Gaza, Palestine. It has been more than 100 days since the events of October 7, 2023. Gezans have lost family, friends, homes, and the right to live freely in their homeland. The recent British and American attack on the capital city of Sana'a in Yemen is a sign that the conflict is mosques and holy books, such as the Quran, have been destroyed. This picture makes 2023 and the beginning of 2024 a year of sorrow for Muslims around the world. But behind this disaster, not a few people say that this year is actually the year of the victory of Islam, the year of unity for Muslims around the world. Because in addition to the bad news that befalls Muslims in Gaza, there is also a lot of good news that comes from Muslims. For example, when Gaza was bombarded, almost all Muslims felt the pain of their brothers and sisters in Gaza. So what happened? The Muslims in each of their countries gathered and protested as a form of solidarity for their Muslim brothers and sisters in Gaza. Even in Yemen, after the British and American attacks yesterday, there were rumored to be 5 million Muslims gathered shouting the phrase, We all care, even if a world war occurs. Knowing this, Charlie Sansom, a British political analyst, commented on a talk TV news program, Britain and its allies should withdraw from the Red Sea, because according to him, the Muslims in Yemen are not afraid of death. It's a question of, are the strikes that we're having there, I mean, Grant Shops, the Defence Secretary says we're running out of patience, are they actually helping or hindering or prolonging this? What do you think? I think it will make things worse because, mm -hmm. like you said, um, when you were talking about your story before you started bringing us on, is that people that are religiously fanatical don't care about dying. And if that's their attitude, they're not going to stop. And I don't believe that um, if you change from the, the Houthis to Hamas to Hezbollah, that you're going to get a different fact, a uh, different sect rather, pop up in the end. I don't think that makes a difference because at the end of the day, they're getting funding and they're religiously fanatical. So you're always going to get this problem if we are always in the region. I think we should leave. The recent events in Gaza have touched the hearts of many non-Muslims and attracted them to study Islam and the Quran. On almost all social media platforms, non-Muslims, especially in European countries, express their admiration and amazement at the faith of the Muslims in Gaza. They also uploaded themselves in the middle of learning the Quran, and many of them later converted to Islam, mashallah. After this whole thing started in Palestine because I wanted to learn about religious really at all. Even some time ago, social media was shocked by the news of 30 women in Australia who decided to convert to Islam. 
Not without reason, their decision to convert to Islam was inspired by the determination of the people of Gaza itself. The resistance in Gaza is deeply felt by Australian women, causing a wave of religious conversions in Melbourne, wrote the Instagram account at Yenisafak English, which was reported on Tuesday, December 5, 2023. News that is no less horrendous among Muslims also comes from the world lightweight boxing champion, Dravanda Davis. Where, at the end of December 2023, he and two of his friends declared their Islam and changed their names to Abdul Wahid. As reported by the X account of the Germantown Mosque, yesterday, a Mam Germantown spent the morning with our brother Dravana Davis and his team. It was a beautiful meeting. They went to the mosque for Zuhr prayer at the Hidayah Mosque, and he said the Shahada with two of his friends. May Allah have mercy on them all said the Imam of Germantown in his ex-account. Davis' conversion to Islam adds to the list of athletes who converted to Islam in 2023, following MMA fighters Amber Laybrock and Kevin Lee, who first declared their Islam. And the latest is the largest Dawa event in Europe, successfully held in several major cities in the UK, such as Birmingham, Leeds, London, and Manchester. The event held by the Dawah community in the UK is also a form of solidarity for Palestine. In the event, presented a number of well-known Dawah activists, such as Mufti Menk, Sheikh Belal Assad, and several inspiring converts, such as Whale Abraham and Aki Amon, which was attended by tens of thousands of spectators who shouted one sentence, namely, Allah the Akbar. After all the sad events that the Muslims experienced in 2023, it turns out that Allah has happy news behind them. The spirit of unity and the increasing number of people who are converting to Islam seem to tell us that the revival of Islamic civilization is only a matter of time. They tried to erase Islam in the land of Sham, but they forgot about their own country, where Allah has multiplied those who are ready to defend Islam. because of what went on in Gaza, in Palestine, the Palestinian Muslims, how they exercised their faith in Allah, made thousands of people to convert to Islam. Just imagine 30,000 Australians convert to Islam instantly because of the issue going on in Palestine. A lot of people have gone on social media talking about them reading the Quran for the first time. Most of them took their shahada, they converted a lot of, you know, uh, wrestlers, they converted to Islam. You can just imagine, you can just imagine what God is doing. God is doing great and mighty things and this is beautiful to see. Wow, I just love it. I love, I love it. I love it. This is beautiful. Amazing. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.